Hi guys, I'm Chi. Yes, a lot of things have been happening these days. Yes, now it is Italy. Our Nigerian brother uh, has done his own worst. Man, when will guys in Italy, some of them are causing us problems. They are bringing shame to the good ones. In fact, they are profiling us bad, in a bad light. You know, see, now these are senior unico fili. These are kind of children, child allowance. They give to people that have children, money. You know, not even up to 200 euro, but it's still something, you know, when you send it back home for exchange, you know. All right. So this is not the main gist. The gist is that this brother, eh, this our Nigerian brother, did his own worst. He used cutlass, knife, eh, and, and knife to this girl, like, chuck him, chuck him, you know. He wants to butcher this girl. In fact, he did it. He cut cut this girl. Mm? He by himself, thinking that the girl don't buy. <laughs> he thought the girl have pied. Eh? Then he now rushed and called policia. Policia. Vieni, vieni. Forse, oh chiso qualcuno. Like, <laughs> police came. On coming, they touched the pulse of the girl and they saw that the girl is still kind of, there's pulse. She's alive. They called the ambulance. Sharp, sharp. They rushed her to the hospital. <laughs> Glory to God. The girl did not die. She's alive to tell her story. Now, this is it. This thing just happened eh? just like yesterday. I'm telling you reality. Now, Polizia, of course, have told this guy to get a lawyer. He was arrested though, but you know, you can't keep him more than 24 hours. So now he has asked to go and get a lawyer. Hmm, you guys know what happened to him. Jail. He will go to jail. And by the time he comes out, he will lose his document. Now you ask, what happened? What is the problem? Now here is the genesis. This guy married to this girl. Hmm? This is present wife. Half children, two children, but still went on. Toasting Kalabage. Kalabakbekus is what caused all these things. You know, Kalabakbekus is very sweet, watery. You know, it's nice. If you have tested it, you know what I'm talking about. Now, he tested that food in as much as he's married. That is cheating, you know. That means he cheated. That one is another crime. He now, not only testing the Kalabakbekus, he now trickishly, in a trickish way, told this his present wife that he's traveling home for whatever he was going for. Not knowing that him and the Calabar girl, they have planned to go and marry back home. This is what girls face abroad. A lot of them don't even know that they are guys, they are man. They call them their man. Have even gone home to remarry. Marry the good girl who they normally keep home. Or later they come back and divorce the present one and then bring the fresh one they married from home. Because they said most abroad girls are rugged. Like, men have used them. You know, they are used items. That's how guys here see girls. So this guy went home with this Calabar girl. They, in, the, in the trickish way they did it. Deceived his own wife. Went home, left the girl with little money. Just 20 euro. What can 20 euro do for a month? Or even two months or three that he will be there. And join himself with the Calabar girl. He's working on. He left her with nothing. To him, even the Asenio Unico money. He's sharing it with the girl. That is a child allowance money. With his own wife. Can you imagine? He's working. You know, guys, you guys should try to understand that these girls too have ambition. When they came abroad, they, they risked their life in the desert, in Libya, everywhere. They saw death themselves. They crossed the sea to come and hustle, to make money for their family so that their doings back home will be nice. Eh? Them too want to have doings. But you guys misled them. Fake love because you want to enter Bekus. You promise them this and that. I love you. I the love of my life. Without you, I can't do. I want to marry you. They open their Bekus. You enter. You pour in your stuff in there. Get them pregnant. Now you are maltreating your... The same girl you are dying for. The same girl you are confessing love to. The same girl you are begging. Sending her sweet, sweet messages. Voice notes. Sweet things you are doing with her in the beginning stage. Now look at how you are rugging the girl. Using her like trash. Eh? You can't even give her pocket money. Even the child allowance that she should be managing at least. The money is for the baby, but at least she can be taken from there to be doing some little, little doings for herself. You know? Making hair, buying cream and the rest. Also maintaining the baby, buying baby things, you know? 
you are still dragging the same money without saying, I also have share from the money. Is it what the government says you should do with the money? You are working, face your own salary. You're not even giving her allowance. And she's not, she has disturbed you for it and you don't give. You are sending the money home, using it to build your own house, buy properties, if at all you are doing it. Most of you lavish money on girls. Now, this is not the gist. The gist is that this guy went home and now married this Calaba girl. They now came back. Now, what was his plan? He wants to neutralize this girl. He wants to buy this his wife. Eh? He thought that the girl don't buy. The girl have buyed. Hmm? Neutralized. The girl have evaporated. Maybe heading for judgment. That was what he thought. He thought that her spirits have gone for judgment. Maybe sent to hellfire or purgatory or still in the in on the way going. That was what he thought. He rushed, he rushed and called police so that if I thought the girl spirit have gone for judgment, that means he has the child allowance to himself, all the money, like 400 euro, all to himself and with his new Calabar wife. That was his mind. Then he would tell the police that it was self-defense. Yes, he would say if he goes to court, he would say self-defense, that the girl tried to come and the girl was trying to stab him, uh, hit him with the cutlass, then he took it for, you know, he would forge a kind of useless story. That means premeditated. He has all planned it. Tell me why a man will use cutlass on a, on a, on a, on a girl that, is, can, that cannot defend herself. This was, this, this was what this guy did. <laughs> How can you carry cutlass on a girl without anything, no weapon? You're yeah, using it on her. Chuck him, chuck him. Huh? This girl spirit said, never. I can't go like that. I can't go like that. Glory to God. She made it. Now this guy is heading to jail. The worst part of it was that this guy was like telling this girl, this girl, disturb this guy for allowance money. He doesn't care for her. He doesn't care for her need. I'm telling you, a lot of girls in Italy are passing through the same pain, the same nonsense. In fact, that's why you see most girls in Italy, they are haggard, looking haggard. They are not fresh. Compare girls in Italy with girls in, in other countries like Germany, Swiss, um, US, Canada, UK, Denmark. Go there and see those girls. They are doing it so sweet, man. You see them, you feel like this is abroad. You see they, they are doing so good. The way they dress. They, they are comfortable and fresh. But come to Italy. The girls are looking haggard. Because of how Italy guys, most of them, have turned these girls to be. You know, you, the worst part of it is that they don't give their present wife money. They lavish money on their side chick. That is stupidity. Even if you must have a side chick, you can be giving her something. But, but give your own woman more things. Yeah, don't make your woman look like a second class thing. She have your children. Eh? She cleans the house. Cook for you. Bath the children. Wash clothes. Go for market. In fact, do everything doable in the house to keep the home clean and everything. Still, you come back from work. You chop her on top. You open your bedrooms. You enter. Some of you chop three times, two times in the night before you sleep. Is that the only thing she's good for? That's what this guy was doing. You know? If, if your woman that you are treating bad now, most of you guys, you, the way you are treating that girl, imagine she's doing badante for somebody, taking care of the children, cleaning house, bathing them. Do you know how much they'll be paying her for salary? Do you think that she's not pained? They are saying she's too angry, she's always angry, she talks anyhow. Every woman, their medicine is money. Show them love with money, man. You see their doings, we start, start, start shining. Give them money, you see whether their language will not change. You see whether their face will not brighten up. You see whether they will not start looking fresh. Take her out. Give her money to go and buy new clothes. You know, make her hair. Buy good cream. Put on herself perfumes. Give her allowances. You know, money. That's, most girls understand the language of money. And she give them attention and care and love. That's all they need. And also plan a way for them to get a job. Yes, they can be going for night job, you know. Or they can bring their mother. Or you can bring your mother to come. Or their own mother to come. So that both of you can be free and be going to work. While your mother can be doing the school run thing. Helping you to take the children to school. Or if your, if your mothers are old or late. Then you can um, um, 
allow her to go for night work while you go for morning work. You guys can share it. Eh? This is how to plan life in Europe. Not just turning her to fool housewife. She will remain that way until those children get to 18 years. Imagine how many years she has wasted. Her family will be insulting her, saying that she should be ashamed of herself. You know? Ashamed of herself that she went abroad and the first thing she knows is to carry Bene. To get pregnant. Imagine stupidity. And the worst part is that they'll be like, the stupid boy that even pregnant her don't even care to be giving her money. Now the family will call her, give us some little money like that. She cannot give them because you don't give her for allowance. You don't even know that she has family herself that she wants to take care of. When she was leaving Niger to abroad, her hope was that she would come here, make money, build house for her family members, settle the brothers and sisters, maybe open businesses for them or give them money to run life to, so that they their doing still will be nice, you know? Maybe buy land, property, things. In fact, bring her family out of poverty. But here you are, you have rendered her useless. You have crippled her ambition, everything. You have crippled it. This is what most guys do to girls. If you were that girl, if you put yourself in their shoes and understand their pain, that is why you see them nagging you all the time. That's why you see them angry. That's why you see their face, they are bony. They are no longer happy. In the beginning, look at their face now, how they look when you come back from work. Do they smile for you? Do they smile? Do they even try to hug you? Do they even tell you I love you anymore? This shows that things have gone wrong, which is part of your own fault. You, you, don't, you have failed as a man. If you are dragging children allowance with your woman, you have failed as a man. So is that what you came for Europe to do? To drag child allowance with your woman? As a man, go on also. She's already at home taking care of children. Is that not enough? Can't you leave the money for her? Eh? You're not giving her allowance. So which money do you expect her to, to take small and give to her family that are, are dying of hunger? Don't you know that th th things are bad back home? She needs money to help her family too. Just the way you are doing. You, you are helping your family. You don't care about her own family too. You don't know she has needs as a girl. Man, if you, are, if you are treating your woman bad, I would say you're a wicked human being. Destroying other people's future. But you want your own future to be nice. You are wicked. Think of it. Put yourself in the, If If that was your sister, you are back home. Now your sister is abroad and you're hoping for her to, to be bringing money so that you open one business or, you know, establish yourself. Then I hear that your sister have given birth to three children, four children, two children, to one guy that is maltreating her beating her all the time slapping her treating her like a slave in the house how would you feel wouldn't you be boiling wouldn't you even feel like that your sister is a failure you'd be like useless girl we thought she would go there and make money and i tell girls once you come abroad let your priority be in working work for like 10 years before you start thinking of settling down with with a man and when you want to settle down with a man date that guy for like two years to understand the real character of that person most of you do not even date that long most of you saw the bad characters in these guys. How they insult you, how they beat you, but you still accepted to have children for them. You saw the signs that these guys were, were, were not good that much. Is it because you saw them in abroad? Oh gosh. So this guy now, his intention was to neutralize this girl so that he will now bring in the Calabar girl. And then some both of them will live, you know, life forever. You know, sweet life. That was his mission. That's stupidity. You want to neutralize somebody. You think it's Nigeria where you just fake one lie, bribe police and lawyer, judge, and you get you go scot free. You see what Kalabak Bekus have cost for this guy? Kalabak Bekus is sweet, but use your head. Woman sweet, use your head. If your priority abroad, you come abroad and your priority is woman, woman, woman. You are pursuing woman. And you are married. You are pursuing woman up and down. Bekus, you want to put your cucumber inside Bekus because it produces watery, orgasm is flowing, squirting things, you know. Bekus is your problem in Europe. Every time you're on Facebook, social media, dating site, checking for girls that you enter their Bekus. Kai! Imagine what you are doing abroad. Time you'll be using to calculate how to make money so that when you come back home, your doings will be nice. Imagine the money you have spent on side chick. Imagine, calculate all the money you have spent on side, side chick. Compare it. Is it equal with the one you give to your woman? Is it equal? Most guys in Europe have children everywhere. So have side chick in France, in Germany, in Spain, in UK. Can't you have one? Have one. You can maintain if you love her so much, you love your wife, then talk to your woman about it. 
say, hey, you know, I'm a kind of man that cannot deal with one woman. I still love you so much. Then treat them equal. If possible, if you love her, the side chick so much that you want to make her a wife, treat them equal. Show them love. They must not live together, but show them love. Eh? Some of you are last side chick to be brainwashing you to poison your mind towards your woman in Europe here. Eh? You prefer to spend huge money for side chicks, but to your woman never. To give her allowance from January December, January, December. How much? Calculate how much you have given to your woman and that you have given to your side chick. Which one is bigger? Ask yourself that question. Tell yourself, are you doing the right thing as a man? So this is our brother. Definitely he will lose his document. Hmm? He's going to lose his document. And when he loses it, because when he's in jail, how can he renew document? And coming out to get it will be a big problem. And if he gets it to get a job, it will be a bigger problem. Now, that Kalabag Bekus, that Kalabag here now, another guy will be lamoshwanging her. Another guy will be benching her. Sex, man. Bench her very well. While he will be in prison, maybe five years, ten years in jail. Another guy will be servicing the Kalabag Bekus that he thought he has gotten for himself. So he lost left and right. And the girl which he knifed very well, used his cutlass on, his own wife, that one will still come out and live her life. Hmm? But I pray that Sosha will not come and say they want to collect her children. You know those ones, <laughs> they are good in that one. Instead of them to help and settle the girl, get her a good job. That's what they should do to her. Help her get her job, not coming to say they want to take her children from her. You know? So she will still come out and live her life and let her never go back to such a human being again. She has been, this guy maltreat her all the time. Do you know that even this girl go for shoro? She do shoro. When she get the shoro money, this guy will still tell her to bring the shoro money so that they will share. When she wants to send the shoro money back home to her family members, this guy will be like, why are you giving your family the members the money? Why are you sending money home? Why are you sending money home? He will beat her up for that. You know? Insult the hell out of her. The money she went and suffered for, to go and beg. She go and beg outside. She turned to a beggar just to survive, to make money to give her people. This guy wanted to just waste her life in Europe like that, to neutralize her. He will still drag this money with her. Imagine. This is what many girls, this is an example of what many girls are facing here in Europe. Guys don't want them to send money home, but they are good in sending money home to their own people. They are good in building houses, buying property, but they don't want this girl to have anything. And you feel that these girls are happy with you. They curse you every day. They regret ever knowing you. They curse you each day. You don't know. They curse you. And most of them even cheat on you. They cheat on you because the only way they can get happiness is to start having boyfriends too. That will make them happy. You cursed it. It's your fault. As a man, you failed. If you are treating your woman very bad. It's not good. Think of it. Don't you? They, they want to have properties. They want to work. Don't you know they want to work? This is somebody's child, somebody's sister, that you guys are treating bad this way in Europe. It's not good. If you have sister that you love so much, if you, if you, if you truly, and if you love your sister so much, you will never want to see a man run her down this way in abroad. Never. You'll be pained if you see it happening. That's if you have, if you have what they call feelings. If you, if you know what they call love. This is, these are people's sisters, people's children. You guys are treating anyhow guys wake up man you guys are not trying this children money leave it for your woman leave it for them help them to get a job that they can be going in the evening time if, even if it's two hours cleaning job somewhere in an office or bar or hotel or even just three four five hours job they can go in the evening and come back it's enough don't turn them to full-time housewife it's not good they will run to they will be having psychological problem they will never be happy that's why you see them angry all the time they are saying, what is eating her up? It is you. She needs a job. She wants to go to work. Too. That's why she came to Europe. You did not bring her to Europe. Did you bring her to Europe? You are not the one who brought her. Some of you say, yes, I brought her. And so, is that why she should be your slave? These girls risked their own life to come here. And look at how you are treating them. They are cursing you every day. That's why many of you guys are on that course. Things may not end well for you guys if you continue this way. It will not. That's why they say girls are leaving their guys. If you come abroad and marry, girls will leave. Girls will end up leaving you. And they will tell you to be paying child allowance and paying for the house rent. Girls, if any guy is maltreating you, eh, go and report. They will end up paying child allowance. 
especially if you have evidence of the bruises they have put on your body, the marks, the injuries they have put on your body. Take photos of them. Anytime they are beating you up, record it. Put your phone on record in the time you see him getting angry, raging, trying to beat you. Just quietly put your phone on record. Record it and have your evidence. Go and get a lawyer. This is too much. For well, that's how many girls have been neutralized. There are quite many girls that have been enduring this kind of bullshit from guys. If this girl had died now, we wouldn't have known the true story. He would say it's self-defense. You know? Guys, wake up. Treat these girls with love. That's all I'm saying. Treat them with love and respect. They are human beings. They need it from you. In the beginning, it was not so. You love them truly with your heart. What happened? They want a job. They want money. You too, you want money. Can you stay in Europe without money? Think of it. Can you stay in Europe without money? How, think, just put yourself in their shoes so they feel what they feel. All right. I'm out of here, man. I am Chi. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. See you guys later.